Shalom, Ka Halal, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam, to the Akim and to the Akwaf, that'll be you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza, that is to say Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded, as commanded. Um, this lesson is going to be entitled "Through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai." This lesson is going to be entitled "Take Heed to the Warning." Take heed to the warning. All right. Um, as you know, this is the good news. Okay, the gospel. This is the good news. Okay, this is for the elect. All right, uh, the Lord's chosen people, man. All right, take heed to his words. Take heed to the warning because we are here to warn you. The men of the Lord, okay, the Lord sent out his men, okay, rising up betimes early to give you warning of the things, the impending dangers, all right, the prophecies that are to come and how to conduct yourself and get your house together because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The scriptures speak about how our salvation is even nearer than when, when we believed. Okay? So, you got to know that the kingdom is at hand. The return of our Lord is nigh. No man know the, 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 the day, minute, nor hour but the Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh. Okay? No man know the hour, day, nor time but the Heavenly Father. But as for you, the scriptures say to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Okay? Get your house in order. Okay? Destruction and bad times are coming. Okay? And it may be that you find a hedge of protection or the Lord show you favor if you're taking heed to his word. If you are one of those uh, chosen ones. If you are part of the elect. Okay, the, 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 those that are the Lord is going to send the angels according to Matthew 24, chapter 24 and verse 31. All right, those that the Lord is going to send the angels to gather together in the last days unto salvation. Okay, if you are one of those, take heed to the word, take heed to the warning. Okay, uh, if you are part of the elect, all right, you're going to be activated through the spirit to do the right thing. You see, and it begins by hearing this word. The scriptures say faith, faith come by hearing. You see, faith come by hearing. So at the end of the day, it will behoove you to take heed unto the word. Okay, uh, the, the book of Psalms chapter 119 and verse 9 says, Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed unto thy word. So you got to take heed unto this word. Take heed to the to the warning because we're here to warn you. You see? Um, let me get a scripture real quick. Um, let's go to the book of, and this lesson is all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Didn't have any precepts lined up, but the Lord gave me a title. And that's what I'm going with, man. We, 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 are, we are here to warn you. So take heed to the warning. Or not. Because we know there's a specific number that is allotted to salvation, which is the one-third, okay, 33.3%. And there's a specific number that is allotted to judgment, who not going to take heed to the word, all right, which is the which is the two-thirds, 66.6% 60, of our own people, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to be, uh, 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 you, you're going you, to have to learn by death by pain. Because you don't, you don't, you if you don't take heed to this word, and you end up being a part of that two third number, you're gonna be judged, man. Okay. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel the 17th chapter, 
Salakia, the third chapter and the 17th verse. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right? Give them warning from me, from the Heavenly Father. All right? We are here to warn you. All right? We are bringing you the good news. We are bringing you the gospel. We are bringing you good tidings. And that's why, you know, the message is for, for you to take heed to the warning of the impending dangers, the things and the judgments that the Lord is going to bring here on the earth. Because it ain't going to be no peace before that peace. The peace is going to be in the kingdom. But before peace, it's going to be, it's going to be war, judgment, all right? Punishments, uh, 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 scourges for an amendment, all right? That's, that's what it's going to be, you know? And um, where you stand with the Lord, okay, it's going to determine what your end going to be. The Lord say, the Lord say he's returning with his reward, okay, and, and according, to, according to your works, that's what's going to be your reward, whether it be good or bad. The Lord coming with reward for everyone, all right? He's returning, he's returning with rewards for everyone, whether it be good or whether it be bad. That's what it's going to be. Let's get that scripture real quick. Um, take his revelation. My reward is with me. Uh... Bear with me here real quick. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. It says, And behold, this is red letter, this is our Lord, the Habasha is speaking. Right? And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. So the Lord is coming with reward for the righteous and reward for the wicked, man. Okay? The righteous are going to be crowned. Okay? There's going to be a crowning ceremony when you read the book of uh, uh, Second Ezra, uh, the second chapter, beginning at the 42nd verse going down. It tells you how there's going to be a, a ceremony of crowning for the men that stood so stiffly, stiffly for the name of the Lord. So the Lord is coming with reward for the for, for for those that did righteously, all right, and, and 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 those that did wicked, man, you know, the wicked is going to be punished, man. Going, they're going to be cut asunder, as the scriptures say. Some are going to be melted by the lake of fire, that's going to be created through ICBM missiles, okay. So the point is, the Lord is coming with this reward, okay, to give every man according. As his work shall be. So, the best thing to do is to take heed unto the word, you know, because Yahweh Shai himself said, "Except you repent, you shall likewise perish." All right, that's in the book of Luke. All right, Luke the thirteenth chapter. But let's get our acts, you know, because this is the message we're telling you to repent. We're telling you to take heed to the word. Take heed to the his warning, man. All right, the Lord is long suffering, long, long suffering, right? Slow to anger, right? And and forgiving sins and full of mercy, but you you can't think that you could just be willfully sinning and, and, and not repenting and turning to the Lord and don't expect that He's not going to judge you. Judgment is going to come, except you repent and turn to the Lord. So this is Acts three, and verse nineteen, and it says. I'm going to start at 18. It says, But those things which the Most High, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Mashiach should suffer, he had so fulfilled. So our Lord, he went up on the cross and became that sacrificial lamb to give remission of sin to the nation of Israel. All right? To adopt us back to the Heavenly Father because we went off and we fell from the way of righteousness being the sons of God who are supposed to forward the way of righteousness on the earth. We fell away. The scripture speaks about the falling away. Acts uh, Salakia. Uh, that's that. Jeremiah 17 and, and 4. Okay, we fell away. Right? But the Lord, the Lord adopted us back. Okay? He was that sacrifice to bring us back. 
okay, and gr and good graces with the Heavenly Father. You see, so that's why you have a great spirit, and you're supposed to use this spirit to get your house in order. So it would behoove you to take heed to the warning. You see, and this is why the 19 verse it says, "Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out." Now you need your sins to be blotted out. There's a scripture that says. If the Most High should mark, should as mark iniquity, who would stand? You wouldn't be able to stand because you got, you got, you got, uh, you got hidden sins which you don't even know about. You sin all the time and don't and don't even know it. Okay, so you 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 got sins to pay for in your in your past life. If you could receive that, that goes into re reincarnation. So if the Most High should have marked iniquity, who would stand? See, this is the reason why the scriptures say, repent ye therefore and be converted. Have a change of mind. Change your, your, your mind state. It begins in the mind. It says that your sins may be blotted out. Right, you need them wiped away. Right, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You need the Lord, you need the Lord to blot away the transgressions. This is, this is the way you can be saved. If you are part of that precious number of the elect because when you go here to um you go here to the book of um uh psalms psalms 32 psalms 32 and uh verse one a psalm of david mishkel blesses he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered and who could cover your sin Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? That's who's going to blot it out. Verse 2. It says, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. You see? You don't want the Lord to impute iniquity onto you. That's why you want him to blot it out so you can be delivered, so you can be saved. That's why you have to turn back to him and take heed to the warning. You know? This word, this message. This message is sent unto you. So you got to uh, 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 receive it with all readiness of mind and heart and, and turn to the Lord. And as it says in Proverbs chapter uh, 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 what's that, 3, verse 5 and 6, uh, turn to the Lord, um, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out on your own understanding. You shouldn't be leaning on your own understanding in these times. You should be trusting in Yahweh Bashim Shai, making him to be your rock, your refuge, your buckler, your shield, and all these things. And you, in this day and in this time, you should be putting on as the elect. Okay? Bowels of mercies. You know? You should be taking heed to the, to the, to the, to the, to, to, taking heed to the doctrine and to the word. And, and, and trust in the Lord and repent on a daily basis, man. Okay? Offending less. You see? So, remember we are sent on to you. Let's get that. Um, this is... Uh, where is that? Isaiah. Uh, no, Matthew. I'll get the one in Matthew. Maybe we can get Isaiah. Let's get Matthew. All right? The Lord said to go into the highway and the hedges and compel them to come in. All right? But well, this is Matthew. Matthew, uh, what's that? Matthew 28, verse 18. It says, And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the world, a month. So we're supposed to, we're, we're teaching you, okay? We're giving you the warnings, okay, of the word of the Lord. You see? We're preaching the good tidings unto you, and you're supposed to take heed. This is, uh, let's get Isaiah. Isaiah 61. It says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. So like it, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, right? He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. See, this word is for you to proclaim liberty to the captive. See, because this word comforts you. It says, and the opening of the prisoners to them that are bound, 
A lot of our people are bound in their own mind. You see? It says, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God and to comfort all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that they might be glorified. See, this word is for you. So you ought to take heed unto it, man. You know, or not, because there's going to be, once again, the Lord is coming with this reward, whether it be good or whether it be bad. It's just what what, what is going to be for you. Okay, um, let's get let's get uh, Matthew chapter twenty four. Let's go there again, and let's get uh, the fourteen verse, because this word is going to go out into the whole world. Okay, so you're not going to be able to say you haven't heard. All right, you're not going to be able to say that. Uh, it's in John the fifteen chapter and the twenty second verse. All right, it said the, the Lord said, "Had He not come, they would have no they would have no sin." But the fact that the, he have came, they ain't gonna have no cloak for their sin. Meaning, you not gonna be able to have an excuse in that day in the return of the Lord. All right, this is Matthew chapter twenty-four and verse uh, fourteen, and it says, "This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come." Right. So you're not gonna have an excuse because it covered the whole world. Okay. In the Oikimini sense, meaning the whole inhabited earth heard this word, man. Okay? Whether through man or whether on the internet. Through the unicorn. Okay? But you you're not gonna be of excuse in that day. You 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 would have you would have had to heard. Okay, you you would have had to heard. Uh, let me see if I can get. Let me see if I can get. I think that's Romans. Um, Romans 10, I want to say. Uh, so then faith cometh by hearing, and by hearing the word of God. Yeah, I, I quoted that earlier, but I want, um, I think it's, bear me, let me find, let me find. Sound went out. Sound went. Let me see if I can find the scripture real quick. Bear with me here. I want to get the scripture. We got, and we're getting ready to close off. All right, Romans 10. I was right there. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this. <laughs> I didn't look down. I read 17 again. I was right there. And it, 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 it eluded me. <laughs> it, was, it was the very next voice, verse. But I had it highlight. I had 17 highlight. That's what happened. Well, actually, 18 is highlight, too. Um, it says, verse 18. I have to read 17 again. It says, then, but, but, so then faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of the Most High. The point 18. But I say, have they not heard? See? Yes, verily. Which means truly. Yes, truly. Their sound went into all the earth. And their words unto the ends of the world. So, going back to Matthew 24 and 14. This would have covered the whole earth. So, you're not going to be of excuse in that day. That's why the message is to repent. And we're telling you. Uh, to, to take heed to the word, man. You know, take heed to the word. It may be, all right, you may be of that precious number. If the elect, well, if you're of the elect, you're going to be activated regardless. But it begins with you taking heed with the word. Okay? That's the message, man. Take heed to the word of the Lord. Take heed to the warning. Take heed to the warning because impending dangers are coming. Remember uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, and this know also that in the last days, perilous times are going to come. All right. Also remember uh, Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we through much tribulation shall enter into the kingdom of the heavenly father. Right. Showing you is going to be by way of tribulation. The scripture speaks about the righteous scarcely being saved. So it's going to be by way of tri tribulation. You're going to be tried. 
Okay, but the Lord said, those that have kept his patience, you're also going to keep them from the hour of temptation. See, Revelation 3 and 10. See, so this is the reason why you have to take heed to the warning, knowing what the what the, what the, what the, what the, what the mark of the beast is. Okay, the, the, the microchip. You see, this is why you got to take heed to the warning, take heed to the men of the law, take heed to the spoken words of the law. We only, we only saying what the Lord have already spoken. This is his words. Okay, so the message is to take heed to the warning. That was the lesson. I'm going to end it there, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me the truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing the truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, Shalom.